Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique hunting rifle known as Tinker Tom's Special. Now to acquire this weapon you will have to be a member of the railroad. This means first finding the railroad and then completing the quest Tradecraft. After doing so you will be offered the chance to join the railroad you want to do so and this will give you access to their vendor Tinker Tom who is the very man we want to head to. Once we find him spreading conspiracy theories we want to speak to him and click on barter. Once here, go across the weapons and down at the very bottom there will be Tinker Tom's Special, the very gun we came here for. And of course, the price of the weapon will vary depending on your character's current charisma level. As always, before looking at the weapon's base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bubblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. So first of all, we want to add the 50 receiver. This increases the damage by 75%, it uses the 50 caliber rounds, it reduces reloading time by 25% and increases the fire rate by 25%. Next we're going to be adding the long ported barrel. This increases minimum range by 9 times, increases maximum range by 16 times, reduces sight spread by 40%, increases minimum spread by 100%, increases max spread by 50%, reduces recoil by 25%, increases VATS cost by 10% and increases sight time by 3%. Next we're going to be adding the marksman's stock. This reduces sight weight by 9%, reduces sight spread by 40%, reduces recoil by 25%, increases VATS cost by 20%, increases sight time by 10%, and increases bash damage by 100%. Next we're going to be adding the large quick eject mag. This takes the magazine size to 10, reduces reload time by 20%, and increases sight time by 3%. Penultimately we're going to be going with the long night vision scope, although you can add a recon scope if you like. I'm adding the night vision scope purely for aesthetics. So the long night vision scope gives 10 times zoom, it gives night vision, increases sight sway by 20%, reduces sight spread by 20%, increases that cost by 50% and increases sight time by 20%. And finally we're going to be going with the suppressor. Now you could go with a muzzle break or a compensator but I'm going with the suppressor to hopefully synergize with the legendary effect. So the suppressor makes the weapon suppressed, it reduces minimum range by 1.25 times, reduces maximum range by 2.5 times and reduces recoil by 25%. So once Tinker Tom's special has been modded out the way I just did. It has a base ballistic damage of 64, it uses the 50 caliber rounds as ammunition, it has a fire rate of 4, which is shit. Its range is 185, its accuracy is 112, its weight is 18.8 pounds and its value is 766 caps. And as we can see up the top in the middle, Tinker Tom's special. If not in combat, plus 100% VATS accuracy and plus 100% VATS cost. Mm, not my favourite legendary prefix. So Tinker Tom's Tom's Special is a unique hunting rifle with the Stalker legendary prefix which grants double VATS accuracy at double the cost, provided you are not already in combat. That's why I went with Suppressor, so during a single combat sequence provided you're sneaking, we can get more than one use out of this legendary prefix. Now given it's called Tinker Tom Special and Tinker Tom is famous for tinkering, to be honest I think he could have put a better legendary prefix on this weapon. Although there are some ways to synergize this with uh, perks, for example the Sniper perk Headshots with a scoped weapon do extra damage. Uh, provided you're sneaking and not in combat, you can scan the area for the strongest, toughest enemy and begin the combat sequence with a headshot to that strongest enemy. And because you won't be in combat yet, you're going to have double the accuracy. Again, at double the cost, but you're going to be twice as likely to hit that enemy in the head and absolutely wreck them. Provided they don't have any strong headgear on. Because as we know, it had a base ballistic damage of 64 and I was only able to get it up to 186. And that's after getting every single perk I possibly could to increase the damage. Which isn't super impressive, it's not super bad, but given that it has a fire rate of 4, it's pretty bad. I mean, you can get automatic weapons that do more than 186 damage per shot, and of course they're automatic, they shoot incredibly quickly. So 186 damage per shot when it's like 3 to 4 seconds between shots, it's really not that good. So to be honest, there isn't really too much else to say. I mean, it's not a bad weapon and it's not an excellent weapon. It's really pretty average. And that's not even so much down to the legendary prefix. It's just the hunting rifle in general. It's an all right weapon. And we haven't covered a unique hunting rifle since Reaper 2 on this channel anyway. So I was pretty excited to cover another hunting rifle, but 
Ugh, no. I don't know what that noise is, but uh, it's representative of my feelings towards this gun. So it's good for opening headshots, but its fire rate's too slow, and after you open it and the enemies have found you, its legendary prefix is absolutely useless until the next set of enemies. And once you get rid of that legendary effect, it's just not a good enough weapon for you to carry around at all times. There are much better and much more versatile weapon choices. So I can only conclude that Tinker Tom is in fact special. So if this is Tinker Tom special, then I can conclude that Tinker Tom is in fact special. Funny they called him to Inca. I would have called him Tamayan. He's also well known for preparing tiny Japanese meals. After all, it is Tinker Tom's Specker Eel. And here it is, Tinker Tom special in action. <laughs> And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my weapon guide for the unique hunting rifle known as Tinker Tom Special. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way and if it did I think you will be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. If you enjoyed tinkering with Tom, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, the link can also be found in the description. Or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. With all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, it has been an absolute pleasure having you here with me and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.